Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a stunning problem for you all today. This problem is from the 2021 Hong Kong team selection test. Uh, and I found it to be quite challenging. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. Uh, so we have a triangle ABC with circumcircle gamma. P is the midpoint of arc BC. Uh, AP meets BC at point D. Uh, M is the midpoint of AB. And then we draw the perpendicular from B to uh, PM, and we let it intersect the perpendicular from A to AB at point E. And we want to show that AE is equal to DE. All right. So we want to try to figure out how do we use the fact that BE is perpendicular to MP. Um, so we know that this is a right angle here. And one of my first ideas was to take the midpoint of BC. So if I let F be the midpoint of BC, and I label this other intersection point here, G, then angle BFP has to be 90 degrees by symmetry because F is the midpoint of BC and P is the midpoint of the arc BC. So if BFP is 90 degrees and angle BGP is 90 degrees, then that would mean BGFP is cyclic. That kind of just felt right to construct this point F because you see that uh, happen a lot in problems uh, where you have a midpoint of an arc, all right? So this is what I just mentioned. So angle BFP is 90 degrees by symmetry. Angle BGP is also 90 degrees uh, from what we're given in the problem. And so BGFP is cyclic. All right, and BP has to be the diameter of the circumcircle uh, since those are both right angles. All right, so I'm gonna draw in that circle around B, G, F, and P. And where do we go from here? So I wanted to see if I could take advantage of the fact that BP is a diameter. Um, and another thing I noticed is that it's not hard to see. So since BE is perpendicular to MP and AE is perpendicular to AB, it's not hard to see from that that angle BMG has to equal angle AEB because uh, those are both 90 minus uh, this angle ABE. So, so angle BMG equals angle AEB uh, and so I wanted to take advantage of that fact. Uh, so what I did was I extended AB to meet this circle at a point. Uh, and I called it point H. And the reason I did that, you'll see in just a moment, but it creates a similar triangle. Um, because we know angle BHP is 90 degrees. Okay. So angle BHP is 90 degrees. And angle EAB is also 90 degrees. So from there, you can kind of see that triangles EAB and MHP are similar. Uh, so I'm going to prove that out here using an angle chase, um, but it's fairly easy to see. So angle AEB, uh, that has to be 90 minus angle EBA, because from the what's given in the problem, AE is perpendicular to AB. So we have 90 minus angle EBA, that's 90 minus angle GBM, but this triangle MGB is also a right triangle. So 90 minus GBM has to be angle uh, MHP. This should be angle um, HMP, not angle MHP. Okay. But so angle HMP is equal to angle AEB. And so those two triangles are right triangles or are similar uh, right triangles. And so I just wrote that out here. So triangle EAB is similar to triangle MHP. All right. Um, so we have one similar triangle. Where do we go from here? So this, I would say, is the, the most clever and probably the key step in solving the problem. So um, I, I found that not only is triangle EAB similar to triangle MHP, but in fact, the whole quadrilateral EABD is similar to MHPF. And so that's what I'm gonna to try to prove now. I'm gonna to try to prove that those quadrilaterals are similar, EABD and MHPF. 
And that, I claim, will eventually lead to solving the problem. So I kind of work backwards a little bit uh, to figure that out. So it's not totally obvious what my motivation is. Um, but if you, if you work backwards a little bit from what you're trying to prove, uh, you may eventually realize that that's what you have to show. Okay. So, so if we want to show that those two quadrilaterals as a whole are similar, um, one way we could do it is we've shown half of them are similar. So we've shown that those two triangles are similar. But if we can show that triangle ABD is similar to triangle um, HFP, uh, that would get us there. Um, so I'm going to say that again. So we have these two triangles already that are similar, EAB and MHP. If we can also show that triangle ABD is similar to triangle HPF, that would show, in fact, that the whole quadrilaterals are similar. And so that's going to be my goal here. Okay, so if you look at triangle HPF, uh, first I'm going to show one of its angles is the same as BAD. Okay, so I'm going to do an angle chase here. So we have angle FPH. Uh, that's equal to angle FBA uh, since FBHP is cyclic. Um, and FBA is the exterior of the opposite angle. So FPH is equal to angle FBA. And that is odd, clearly equal to angle DBA. Okay, so one of the three pairs of angles in those two triangles, um, FPH and DBA, are equal. If we can show one other pair of angles is also equal, then they'd have to be similar. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. It's not a hard angle chase. I'm going to show um, that angle FHP is equal to angle DAB. So here's that angle chase. Uh, we have angle FHP. Uh, clearly, that's equal to FBP because FBHP is cyclic. And FBP is equal to angle CBP. Um, and CBP, uh, it intercepts arc CP, and that's the same as arc BP. So, so angle CBP, it intercepts the same size arc as angle BAP, so they have to be equal arcs. So they have to be equal angles. And angle BAP is equal to angle BAD. So we've shown that two of the pairs of angles in those triangles are the same. So those triangles have to be similar. So triangle DAB is similar to triangle FHP. Okay. And that is enough for us to conclude that those quadrilaterals that I mentioned, EABD um, and FMHD, uh, FMHP, I believe, uh, that those quadrilaterals have to be similar. Um, because in both quadrilaterals, we showed that if you take the two triangles containing the sides AB um, and HP, respectively, uh, the two triangles in those quadrilaterals uh, that contain those sides are similar. And so from that, it's very easy to see that the whole quadrilateral has to be similar. Uh, so I'm not going to do the full proof out here, but I'll let you check that uh, if you're interested. So EABD as a, as a whole quadrilateral has to be similar to uh, MHPF. Um, okay, so how does this end up helping us solve the problem? So we want to show that AE is equal to DE, but if these two quadrilaterals were similar, then that would mean that that would be equivalent to showing that MH is equal to MF. If we could show that, then that would prove the claim since they're similar. Okay, so how do we show that MH is equal to MF? Well, first I'm going to note that MF is parallel to AC. Um, and so I'm going to label this intersection point with a circle J. Um, and, and you'll see why later. But MF, since M is the midpoint of AB and F is the midpoint of BC, uh, MF has to be parallel to AC. Okay. Um, but before I get to that, I'm going to note something else. So I labeled this intersection point J, which is going to come in handy. Uh, you'll see why. But um, once we label that, we know that angle BJP 
has to be 90 degrees. So we're, we're making use of the fact that BP is a diameter. So angle BJP is 90 degrees, and that's the same as angle BJA. So BJA is a right triangle, and M is the midpoint of the hypotenuse. So that means M has to be the circumcenter of that right triangle. Okay. So if M is the midpoint of the hypotenuse in the right triangle ABJ, then we have to have MA is equal to MB is equal to MJ. Uh, those are all radii of the circumcircle. Okay. So MB is equal to MJ. And I mentioned before that we wanted to show that MH is equal to MF. Uh, and it's very easy to see from the diagram that that would be the same as showing that MJ and F are collinear. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. We know that M, uh, B is equal to MJ. Um, I'm going to draw in that segment, MB is equal to MJ. If we could show that, we want to show that MH is equal to MF. So we want to show that MJ and F are collinear by symmetry. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So first I'm going to mention as before that MF is parallel to AC, okay? Because since MA is equal to MB, FC is equal to FB, that means MF has to be parallel to AC. And then we can do an angle chase that will show that MJ and F are collinear. And it's not a hard angle chase, so I'm going to do it out here. Um, so we have angle MFB, it's equal to angle ACB since MF is parallel to AC. And then angle ACB, uh, that's equal to angle APB, which is equal to angle JPB, which is equal to angle JFB, since JFPB is cyclic. So we've shown that angle MFB is equal to angle JFB, so that means MJ and F have to be collinear. All right, so I'm going to draw in that segment. And once we know that M, J, and F are collinear, uh, since M, B is equal to M, J, it's very easy to see that M, H is also equal to M, F. Um, you can use power of a point, or it's fairly easy to just see by symmetry. Okay, so M, B is equal to M, J means that M, H has to equal M, F uh, by symmetry. And that's exactly what we wanted to show. Because if M, H is equal to M, F, then since the whole quadrilateral MHPF is similar to EABD, uh, then that then it follows that EA has to equal ED. So this is a very fun problem, and it took me a little longer than I thought it would. Um, so fairly challenging in my opinion. Um, but it's interesting how I use the idea that you try to show two quadrilaterals are similar. So I didn't directly show uh, triangle EAB was similar to triangle MHF, but I showed they were similar by showing that they were uh, corresponding parts of similar quadrilaterals. And I think I used this technique in one of my videos uh, a long time ago, uh, my channel. Um, I forget exactly which number it was, um, but it involved a, a spiral similarity. Um, so maybe in the description of my video, I'll, I'll post it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.